Imagine you are up against the wall. A system designed to keep you out. What do you do? How do you break through? The real business world is not as straightforward as you may think. To be successful, you have to understand the game played by the astrology, the shady game they use to stay ahead. I recently watched a movie called The Banker, produced in 2020. It's about two black Americans, Bernard Garrett and Joe Morris. They found themselves in this same exact situation. They knew the system was running against them, but what did they do? Instead of them playing by the rules or giving up, they studied the system and guess what? They discovered loopholes, just like the ultra successful entrepreneur out there today. Let's cut the chase and dive straight into it. Take Donald Trump for example. Love him or hate him. This guy knows how to work any system to work to his favor. Donald Trump didn't pay less in taxes because he got lucky. He played the tax code like a professional musician playing the piano. Why most people are losing tons of money on taxes, which could be used for potential business opportunity or business expansion. Donald Trump does sit back, smiling, knowing he has the IRS in the palm of his hands. How? By exploring every nook and credit of the tax system to keep his money where it counts most. Here is a takeaway. The ultra wealthy don't just follow the rules. They lend them inside out to find the gap. Loopholes isn't just for avoiding taxes. They are tools for gaining competitive edge. They are the secret weapon most people often don't consider at most time. But they are crucial for anyone aiming to operate at the highest level of business in life. Now, let's dig deeper into another shady activities the wealthy wants to use to navigate challenges that comes their way. Think about Ali Godangote, Nigeria's richest businessman, who built an empire in the cement industry before shifting to the petroleum industry. Face steep market competition. Dangote didn't just sit back, relax, align the market to play him, but it dig deep to understand that there is a pillar of the society that controls virtually every aspect of our lives. So what did he do? He played the game of political lobbying by secretly sponsoring political activities through donations. He influenced the regulation to favor his business interests. Remember the veteran and the poor case? Dan Bote knew that dominating an industry wasn't just about playing fair. It's about playing smart. So, what would you do when you have a tool that can help you bend the market to your favor? Now, imagine you are a Russian businessman with the current crisis between the US and the Russian government and you wanted to enter the US market. Your presence could be destructive, right? What would you do? I think probably you would need to disguise your move by sending a trusted lieutenant, maybe someone who is a US citizen to front the face of your business and undo every critical task, keeping yourself out of the spotlight where it might bounce to us. They have to really understand that when the stakes are high and the environment is hostile, you need to step back, let others take the lead and still control the game from behind the scene. The question is, how far are you willing to protect your empire? What happens when you are faced with uncertainty which will possibly break you or make you up? Let's talk about Elon Musk. In 2008, SpaceX was on the bricks of collapse. Three rockets launched at fail, and the company was on the bricks of bankruptcy. What most people would do is to throw in the toggle, but not Elon Musk. And this is why it's Elon Musk one of the courageous investors of our time. He bet everything into one final launch. If it fails, that means the end of SpaceX. But the rocket saw and SpaceX was able to secure a multi-billion dollar deal with NASA. Risk is inherent in any business, but the difference between failure and success lies in how those risks are calculated. Here is the reality. The authority take risks that will terrify the average person. Are you willing to take the risks that will elevate you to the next level you desire? But remember, risk without knowledge is like a gamble. That's why this next point is crucial. Think about Warren Buffett, one of the wealthiest investors 
of our generation. Both of them didn't achieve this wealth by chance. From a young boy, he understand the power of money, how to save it, invest it, and most importantly, how to make it grow. Buffett spent about 80% of his day reading, studying financial reports, market analysis, and everything that could give him an edge. His wealth isn't just about the result of his smart investments. It's a result of a relentless learning and a deep understanding of how money works. Financial literacy isn't just about managing money. It's about mastering the art of making your money work for you. Financial literacy, it is a term you have probably heard of a thousand times. But what does it really mean? It's about budgeting, saving, making sure you don't blow through your paycheck every month. Think again. Financial literacy goes far beyond just managing your money. It's about understanding how to make your money work for you, even while you're sleeping. To a point where every dollar is like a soldier in your army, marching towards wealth and financial freedom. But here's a tweet. Most people miss this crucial aspect because they look at the basics. Let me tell you a story that illustrates this perfectly. Imagine these two guys in the movie, Garrett and Morris. They knew they were up against a system designed to keep them down. But they knew something else that they could not do it alone. They need allies. People who understand what they didn't. Who could open doors that they could not even knock on. So when they went out and did what most people don't, they built strategic partnership. They aligned themselves with the right people. Those with the skill, knowledge, and access that they lack. And it wasn't just about finding friends or making business contracts. It was about creating alliances that could break barriers that seemed unbreakable. They knew that navigating the world of finance wasn't about the money itself, but about leveraging every resources, every relationship, every bit of knowledge to turn obstacle into opportunity. Let me give you another example. Steve Jobs and Wolves, the legendary duo, built Apple. Jobs had the vision. He saw a future where everyone had a computer in their homes. But he wasn't the guy who could build it. He needed more technical brilliance to make the vision a reality. Together, he didn't just build a computer, he created an empire. You see, this wasn't just about one person's dream or another technical skill. It was about combining their unique strengths into a partnership that could accomplish what neither could have done alone. This is what separates the ultra wealthy from the rest of us. They don't just team up. They strategically align with people who bring something to the table that they could not bring. Access, influence, or fresh perspective. And this is the real secret. Mastering the art of making your money works for you is only part of the equation. The true power comes from understanding how to use financial knowledge and strategic partnership together. Because without one essential trait, none of it matters. Harriet and Joe Morris didn't just want to get rich. They had a vision of breaking down financial barriers in an industry that was designed to exclude them. Their persistence in the face of overwhelming odds was what turned the vision into reality. Let's look at Jeff Bezos. When he started Amazon, it was just like an online bookstore. But Bezos has a vision far beyond. He saw a future where Amazon becomes the everything store. His persistence, even when the company wasn't profitable for years. And that's what turned Amazon into one of the most profitable companies in the world. Vision without persistence is just a dream. Persistence without vision is just hard work. But together, they are unstoppable. Forces that could turn even the most impossible dream into reality. And there you have it. The hidden truth behind the sources of the ultra wealthy. It is not just about money or luck. It's about knowing the rules, finding the loopholes, taking bold risks, building strategic partnership, and above all, having the vision and the persistence 
to see it all through. Thanks for watching.